Hi, Jeff Simon here for Social Flight. Well, it's time for us to start to get work on this part of the forward canopy, which is going to end up including the actual windshield. Um, that's pretty exciting. Get to see how the windshield starts to lay out. And so the way that that gets attached is using hat sections again. But as you can tell, the bow that's here in the windshield is uh, pretty seriously curved and hat section doesn't naturally do that. And so what the instructions from Titan tell us to do is to mark on the back, as I've uh, done here, a series of cuts that we're going to do. And we're going to put this on a machine and slice down here. And that is supposed to give enough flexibility for this to curve around the inside and allow us essentially to then sandwich the uh, windshield in the windshield bow area. So let's start cutting these and see what actually happens in this next stage of our Titan T51D Mustang build. Now I tested this a few different ways in advance and what I found is that uh, you know when the chop saw comes down it's coming down at an angle and so if we actually want to get through the, the top part of that hat section that we've got there without just cutting an ear off we have to actually angle the piece a little bit to meet the angle that the saw is coming down and what I found is if I took another piece of scrap uh, uh, here we go a little, another piece of scrap hat section and I put that little sandwich like that it actually tilted it at just the right angle and so um, let's see how that works All right, so that technique actually worked really well. By having these at an angle, by putting the piece in the uh, chop saw at an angle, what ended up happening is I made that first cut and it wound up pretty even straight through. So uh, that's the process I'm gonna use moving forward and keeps me away from cutting the ears. And we'll see how we do going through the rest of it. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have now. We have this piece of hat section now that has all these slices in it. And I increase the distance of the slices as we get further down because if you take a look at where it has to curve, there's a lot of curve up here and much less curve down here. So if we take this piece now and we put it in here, we can actually see that it has the ability to bend pretty well where we need it to. Okay, so you know, it's really amazing how versatile these hat sections are in the build of this Mustang. Um, so by cutting slots in this hat section, we're able to bend it and have it actually contour around. And that's exactly what it's done up in this section. We're able to use hat section to follow the curve here. However, that doesn't solve all of the issues in terms of getting this to fit in this location because in addition to curving this way it has to meet the windscreen and the windscreen is coming from here up at an angle which means all of this needs to angle down so uh, in order for this to angle down it's going to follow how this down tube will go for this to angle down you can't just twist it because you actually would have too much material on the inside face and too little material on the outside face so to actually get this to rotate on a basically a compound curve to get it to rotate to form to the inside and then also to curve to the way that the windshield's going to come up here we have to do something else now, um, we could just slice it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tool that's fairly inexpensive, two tools actually, but you can get them as one set, called a shrinker and a stretcher. And what that will do is it'll stretch the material on this outer flange and make this one 
bigger so it can come up and it will shrink the material, squish it together on this lower flange, this lower ear, which will allow that to come down and then meet that curve. And so um, let's, uh, let's take a look at this over here on the tool. Okay, so these two tools here, these are our shrinker and stretcher. Um, uh, this one over here is the stretcher, that one's the shrinker. We put them on this base plate. And I'll show you uh, a little bit about how this works using just this test piece here. And so all you do is, uh, let's assume that we want to uh, shrink this inside one. And so what I'll do is try to bend this down just a little bit to get it started. And then let's assume that I want to, well, I want to shrink this one. So I'm going to put it over here. And what I'm going to do is just a little bit of a push each time and get that to start shrinking down. Now what I'm going to do is zoom in so you can actually see this happening. So let's start by shrinking this piece a little bit. And what you can see here is how it's managed to curve this all the way in and down. Now if I flip it and I start using this one to stretch, what you can actually see here is I've allowed this entire piece to curve and now it can actually form that angle that we're looking for. So uh, that was a test piece. Now we gotta be a lot more careful and I'm gonna test it out on the real piece and see if I can get it to fit better going around that windshield bow. All right, so I'm not sure how easy it is to see, but um, just a little bit of that shrinking and stretching made a huge difference here. If you take a look at the angle of this now, this little motion has all of this angle down, and so um, it, it's, it's basically perfect. It, it's, it, we might do a little bit of tweaking after laying up the, uh, the piece, but it required very, very little in order to make it so now it totally fits. So I'll show you from the back side as well. And so now you can actually see that it comes up here and then twists. And the reason it's able to make that twist is because we shrunk this side and made it tighter and we expanded this side. We stretched this ear and made it bigger and that's how it fits. It's actually surprisingly easy. Uh, I got these tools from Eastwood and they're um, uh, very inexpensive. So we can see the windscreen starting to fall into place, both halves that will become the frame of it for the left and right of our T51D Mustang. And what's really cool is both from the inside and the outside, we can really, again, start to see the profile of this aircraft taking shape. And so we still have to do some fitting and drilling and getting it all into place, but this is enough for this stage of our build. Until next time, I'm Jeff Simon from Social Flight. Be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free Social Flight mobile apps for Apple and Android devices. There are tens of thousands of aviation events and destinations, $100 hamburgers, and so, so much more. And of course, don't forget our webinars in Social Flight Live. So press that subscribe button here. And until next time, blue skies.